it's Kaylin here with My Fair Daily. So today is actually officially my 25th birthday. So um, I had a great time this past Sunday with all my family and friends. My husband surprised me with a huge, big surprise birthday party brunch um, in Ohio City. I know you guys probably don't know where that is, but um, so that was awesome. And then today is my actual birthday, so we're going to go out for dinner in a little bit. But I wanted to do a quick blog post for you guys, and actually I've been meaning to do this for a little while. I wanted to do a what's in my handbag post. I just got a new one for my birthday, so I thought this would be an opportune time to actually do this. Um, and I absolutely love the handbag that I got. First, let's start with actually what my handbag looks like. I got a new, well, I don't know if it's necessarily new, but I got a Kate Spade bag. I've been wanting one forever, and I wanted just kind of a, just a, a neutral kind of black bag that could go for any season that would be great for winter and it's just an overall closet necessity and I really liked it plus I liked the details on the actual straps I love me some chains I love the little bow I love the Kate Spade insignia I love the inside of it as you guys can see well if you guys can tell there's some little bit of polka dot lining on the inside it's freaking adorable and then when you open the middle zipper part the Kate Spade insignia is on there as well. So I'm just gonna go kind of section by section and just tell you guys everything that happened there. Okay, so for section one, it's this pocket right here. And of course I got my cell phone. Um, and then if you guys have never seen it before, I have a little Jack, um, Jack Skellington on the back of it. I am absolutely obsessed for some reason with Nightmare Before Christmas. I love this case, I've had it for a pretty long time. It works very well for me, it's one of those rubbery cases. I always feel like whenever you drop them, um, unfortunately when you do drop your phone, it gives it like a little bit more spring back and a little bit more cushion. So I really like this case and I have an iPhone 4S and hopefully, hopefully I will be upgrading soon. Next I have my lanyard. This actually is kind of a funny story. This is a Ron John Surf Shop lanyard. I've had this now since like senior year of high school, I think. Yeah, I've had this for a very, very long time and I love it and that was like the one thing I wanted when I went to Myrtle Beach was to go to a Ron John surf shop and get something so I got this lanyard and it has all my different keys and different um, like specific like store rewards or store cards on it. I have uh, this little dice from Vegas that was a souvenir I got for myself, uh, car key, I don't even know where this key goes. Uh, I have a Speedway Rewards, a CVS, um, an American Eagle, which I don't even shop at anymore. Okay, so then this section right here, I know it's kind of hard for you guys to see, this other pocket over here, I have, let's first take out, I've been using this NYX Black Label lipstick that my friend got me for Christmas for a while now, I'm actually having it on my lips today. It's not a... It's not a very like, oh my god, kind of red. It's a very like frosted, kind of muted, almost more on the side of pink. But I really love it for more of a subtle red lip and it wears so much, I think, better than a red lip. The second thing I have is like a stack of my business cards. I'm actually getting a um, actual business card case from Things Remembered in a couple days that I ordered. Just so I have something nice to carry them around in. It would be just a great nice necessity for business cards and stuff. So I will have to probably take some pics of that to show you guys once I finally get it. Last thing I have is this little coach. It's it's a wristlet. It does have the wrist part on it. But I use it as a wallet because I love it so much. It's such a beautiful color. It has the coach insignia on the front. I have like random different cards in here. Something for my bank. Oh, I have... I have Pickle Me Pete's card. When we were in New York City, um, we went to, what was it called? We went to um, Bryant Park, and they had all these little tchotchke and like vendors and stands like that, and they had a pickle stand. And pickles are like my all-time, all-time favorite food in the entire world. So, yeah, Pickle Me Pete was awesome. I wish he was in Ohio. So when you open this up, my wallet is an absolute mess. I'm not going to go through everything, but on this side is kind of like all my rewards cards. So like my Alta card, I have um, different gift cards, I have like a Starbucks card over here. I have my VIB card from Sephora, which I need to switch off my Rouge one. I just keep forgetting to put it in there. So now we're going to move to the middle pouch, which is this one right here. That's probably my favorite. When I pull it out, I have this um, 
Kat Von D makeup bag that I got from Sephora. This is actually one of the first things I ever got from Sephora with an online purchase I made. It had a bunch of different samples in it. I just love the bag and I love Kat Von D's style. So I just put a bunch of different little beauty items in here. This is the actual fun stuff that you guys probably want to see in makeup bags. But I have a million of these Sephora mirrors and I actually use this quite a bit recently. Um, but it's just like one of these mirrors that opens up right here and yeah, now you can see my camera. Um, so yeah, I use this all the time when applying lipstick and stuff in public when I'm not by a mirror. And then I also, just in case I ever need it, I put this NYX Perfector tool in my bag and it's just like a little like makeup sponge puff thing. I don't really know what I would ever really need it for, but it's there just in case whatever kind of emergency pops up. If Heaven forbid I need it for something. <laughs> um, and then I also have this CoverGirl um, powder pack. This isn't normally what I use by any means, but it does do a good job of getting rid of shine. It also has a mirror on it, so I can use that in case I'm missing my Sephora one. Um, I just need this for like quick control of shine throughout the day, but I don't use it too often, but again, it's there just in case of emergency. So I have this Bare Minerals Marvelous Moxie lip gloss. It is so pretty. I love it. It's just a very pretty neutral, kind of burgundy red color. You guys can tell right there. I just, I love it. It's not, it's like a good neutral. It's not very overpowering at all whatsoever. Um, and I really am like starting to totally fall in love with like the Bare Minerals line of lip products. So the next thing I have in my beauty bag is this Too Faced lipstick. This is the La Creme lipstick. This is in Honey Bear. This is again an also, it's just a great neutral color. Um, so you guys can see there. I really love it. Again, this is like one of those signature lipsticks that I just always need to have in my collection. It's just one of those perfect neutral colors. It works again very well with that Marvelous Moxie and just being neutral but not like totally nude color. So I really love it. I love the packaging of it. I love it. It just feels so luxurious. Then the last thing I have in that beauty bag is this Nest Passiflora little rollerball. This is amazing and the, the scent is called, the scent is Passiflora. There's a bunch of different scents. I really like a bunch of them. But it comes in this rollerball. It's actually a pretty decent sized rollerball, much bigger than my Betty, Betsy Johnson one. Um, I've only ever used it a couple times because I kind of always forget I have it. I just really need to stop buying rollerballs. It's like I justify buying those over the big bottles because they're so much cheaper, but then I never actually use them, so whatever. But I really like it. I'll put it on if I notice I'm smelling a little rank or something, but I love it. It just it smells completely like just fresh just fresh nature. One thing I forgot to mention that was part of my other different compartments that got kind of lost in there is this Bare Minerals little sample. I actually got this in my first ever Ipsy bag and this is called Moxie Get Ready or Marvelous Moxie Get Ready is the shade and this by far has been my favorite lipstick of the month. It is just a per like perfect color. It's so gorgeous. It's actually Oops, it's this one right here. It's this kind of like pink color. And I'm normally not a very pink girl, but it's kind of like on a neutral pink. So the next thing just inside of the pouch is this Winter Candy Apple. This is the, um, I got this during the semi-annual sale. This is the antibacterial foaming mousse hand sanitizer. Um, basically, I really love the Winter Candy Apple scent, but I wasn't able to get anything else in it. By the time I went for the semi-annual sale, everything was gone. I was really hoping to get a candle, but whatever. So I picked up this instead and I really really like it and it kind of comes out pretty cool. It's just this like little foam action and it smells really good and I really like I always think oh geez I need to put a hand sanitizer in my purse like because anytime I think about it is when I need it and I don't have it but I really really like it. I think it smells great. The last thing I have in the pouch part is this Origins Make a Difference. The Rejuvenating Hand Treatment and I've used this quite a bit as you can see the bottles kind of caving in on itself. I've had it actually at the house for a while, kind of by my bedside, and then I moved it over to my handbag, and I really like it. It actually came with a bit of a gift set that I got around Christmas time. Um, I don't really like the rest of the gift set because I don't know why, just Origins does not work with my skin. I don't know what it is, and it makes me so sad because I think the brand's awesome. Yeah, but I do love this hand cream, and I do get really good results from it. Um, like, yeah, I just, I put it on, it makes my hands feel so, like, rejuvenated and soft. Okay, so moving on to the zipper part, which is right here. Two things I have are these two Baby Lips um, chapstick tubes. I really, really love them. They're more, not even chapsticks, they're more like 
colored lip balms, lip color chapsticks, whatever. I have this one in Coral Crush I just recently put back into my bag kind of for the spring summertime. I really really love this one. I'm actually almost out of it. I have to like twist it up pretty far and it's almost gone but this color is just, it's not going to show up really well on camera, but it's very subtle, very pretty. It's this one right here. I really, really like it a lot. Um, I used it all the time last summer, and I'll definitely be repurchasing it once it's out. And then this one I've been wearing all winter is called Cherry Me. And this one, again, is just this beautiful magenta color, very subtle. Like, if I don't want to go crazy on the lips for one day, I'll wear this. It's this one right here. Both are very subtle, but both are very, they give me just like the right amount of color that's just not overpowering. So then I got like almost no more, actually this might actually be gone, yeah. I have one piece of Orbit gum left, this tiny little piece right here, you guys can't even tell. So yeah, I have like none of this left, so gotta get some more gum. I have this tub of, well, little tub of the Nivea Lip Butter Raspberry Rose Kiss. Um, this is what it looks like when it's opened up. So I've used this quite a bit. Um, I actually got this one as a present. Or no, I did not get this one as a present. I got another one as a present that I haven't opened yet. So I got this one for myself. And I like it. Um, I don't know if I like it any better than any other lip butters. It's kind of gross putting your hand in there. Um, or your hand, your finger in there. So I don't know if I'll be repurchasing it. But I do really like it. Um, the, only, the only complaint besides... I think it's gross sticking your finger in there is like I think this leaves my lips if I put a lot on just looking like really really pale and like because it gives you that kind of like a very like baby pink product on it and sometimes it just doesn't look so flattering on me but overall I do really like this um, if you have really chapped lips and want something that you know smells better than Carmex or whatever I would definitely recommend trying these out. And then I'm going to skip the lady product in there because you guys don't need to know about that. And then the last thing that I have is my favorite lipstick of all time. I wore it for my wedding. I bought it specifically for my wedding, but I absolutely fell in love with it. And I will never, ever, ever take a purse around ever without it again. It's my MAC lipstick. This is Shanghai Spice. I probably talked about this a bunch of times with you guys. But this is my favorite lipstick ever. And... I'll swatch it out for you guys right here. It's just a very pretty peach color. Very neutral, very easy to work with, goes with many different looks. It's neutral, but it again is not on the nude side, which I don't like. I'm just not a big nude lip, like strictly nude lip fan for myself. I like a little bit of color, so this peach one is nice. So that's it for my handbag. I kind of reassembled it again. I probably shouldn't have, but I kind of put everything back in there because I'll forget if I don't. But I really, really, really love this handbag. It's a nice structured handbag. Like I said, I love the details of the straps, the details of this bow. It kind of like was a perfect purse for me. Um, I love that it's not too big. Again, provides lots of structure, which I need. I don't like really big handbags. I need kind of smaller, medium-sized ones. So to celebrate my birthday, I'm going to be doing a giveaway on my blog. I'm going to be doing um, a $25 Sephora e-gift card um, to my lucky winner. It, this is unfortunately only open up to U.S. and Canada fans of mine, unfortunately. with I, I know that Sephora is going over to the U.K., but it's I, I just read online and I don't think that you guys can use e-gift cards over there yet. So, unfortunately, this is only open up for U.S. and Canada residents right now. But I do, I'm trying to do giveaways every single month, so I will definitely open it back up internationally, hopefully next month. But I just, I couldn't figure out what I wanted to do as a giveaway this month, and I'm like, why as well do it for your favorite store, Kaylin? So, I'm doing 25 for, because I just turned 25 this year, so $25 gift certificate to Sephora. So, if you guys go to my blog, you can check out all the details on there. I'll have a raffle copter um, widget that you guys can fill out and enter for my giveaway. So I hope you guys enjoyed my video today. I had a lot of fun filming it. Um, I really am so excited I got to show off my new handbag to you guys. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, also, again, check out my blog for my giveaway details, plus um, everything else that you can find on there. You guys can also check me out on Facebook, on Twitter. Um, I will link everything below for you guys to check out. So I'm going to wrap this video up right now, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, everybody.